Well, good morning to you all on Thursday, the 12th of November. Could the Australian newspaper be right? It says today the 78 Sri Lankans have been offered resettlement in Australia in as little as a month, as well as homes, jobs and social security payments once they get into the country. In other words, end the standoff by doing the old Labor thing when you're in trouble, buy them off. What kind of message is that sending to other boat people? Protest, stand up to the Australian government and you can become an Australian overnight. Apparently the boat people are still rejecting the offer because it would require them to wait in an Indonesian detention centre. So they're smart. They're thinking, hey, once in there, we may not get out. But the Australian newspaper reports today this is a written offer made by Australian government negotiators on Sunday and Monday, which includes, quote, lessons in the Australian way of life, help in tracking, help in tracking down family members, assistance in accommodation, medical help and advice, income benefits, English lessons and help with seeking employment. I can nominate many people listening to me at this moment who'd like similar assistance, especially a lot of unemployed young Australians. It's clear that if the Rudd government has come to this, it's proof they do not have a clue. And the standard Labor government solution applies, throw money at the problem. You see, under international and Australian law, asylum seekers much, must reach Australian territory before they can make a claim for protection. So they know this. Once here, the battle's won. Indonesia is not governed by such international law. It is not a signatory to the Refugee Convention. There's now talk that the Oceanic Viking will be able to remain in Indonesian waters beyond tomorrow. But it'll be interesting to see the Rudd government try forced removal. But if these people are brought to Australia, there is a message to boat people that the Australian government can be dictated to. And of course, Mr Rudd has said over and over again, they won't go to Christmas Island. Well, perhaps he's right. If the Australian newspaper is right, they'll be brought straight to Australia. Does that mean Tamil Tigers and all? Wilson Tucky, where are you? These boat people have consistently said since their rescue at sea that they wanted to go to Christmas Island. Mr Rudd has consistently said they must be processed in Indonesia. So the Indonesian solution's failed. The New Zealand solution has failed. The Philippines solution has failed, if it ever began, because no one in Manila ever knew about it. But what fools we are. We never thought of the Australian solution. Well done, Prime Minister. I'm Alan Jones.